One of you reached out to me on Twitter and asked me, how long do you anticipate it taking for Matt Rule to flip Nebraska. Now, flip can mean a lot of things. I'm going to take that to mean how long do I believe it's going to take Matt Rule to get Nebraska to playing for conference championships. I think that's a fair assumption. Don't think anybody at Nebraska is worried about playing for a silver or a bronze medal. So let's unpack this a little bit. We said this on our live show the other day. We're live on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 1 Central, 2 Eastern. Come show out. We have a good time there. Matt Rule was hired as a contractor. He wasn't hired as a handyman. And what I mean by that is you hired Matt Rule to rebuild Nebraska, to redo the whole operation, not just to come and make a few tweaks and get the thing ready to roll. No, he's going to make Nebraska his Nebraska. He's not trying to just fine tune the car. He's re rebuilding the whole operation. So for year one, Matt Rule, I believe, will set the foundation. Now, whenever you set the foundation, some of that implies that you're knocking out the old foundation. You're taking a sledgehammer, you're hitting the portal, and you're getting in the appropriate personnel to succeed. Now, one of the reasons why I was on the rooftop shouting it to anyone that would listen, hey, Matt Rule's the right guy for Nebraska when this job became available because Matt Rule has experience in this sort of project. Look at what he did at Baylor and at Temple. Now, here's the unfortunate reality. In year one, for both Temple and Baylor, it was, it was a rough going. You had to knock the foundation out. And when you knock the foundation out, it gets a little bit ugly. At first, you've got a heap of rubble. You're saying, what is this? This doesn't assemble anything like we, like we asked you to bring here. In year one, Temple went 2-10 under Matt Rule. Baylor went 1-11. Here's the one thing I would say. The situation at Nebraska is far better than what he inherited at Temple and Baylor. In addition to that, the transfer portal has made revamping and rebuilding a much more expedited process. So I wouldn't expect 2 and 10 or 1 and 11 this coming year. I would expect right around the 5 to 6 mark. I think, excuse me, 5 to 6 win mark, rather. I think that's very much so attainable. Focus on the eye test. Focus on what you see in year one. The culture is being installed. Focus on the message boards and what you're hearing about, the way they're approaching things in practice. And go ahead and check out Husker Online, the Nebraska on three site. That's going to be what they're focusing on in year one. Installing who they are, who Matt Rule wants Nebraska to be. And the, the brand for us, when I played for him at Baylor, played a strong word. When I was a part of that program for a short period of time at Baylor, the brand is the toughest, hardest working, most competitive team in America. That is what they call, like I said, the brand. That's who they want to be. That's who they're going to focus on becoming in year one of the rule regime. If you're not yet subscribed, now we would love to have you part of this program, part of this brand. A ton of y'all from the Lincoln, Nebraska faithful have joined us throughout the course of this season. We're glad to have you. If you have not yet become a part of this community, subscribe. We're so happy to have you. Also, follow me on the social channels at JD Paquel on Twitter and on Instagram. Now, year two. Year two is the year where you start to see the shift. You start to see a difference in the on-field product. It's like we said, you're knocking the whole thing down in year one. It's a heap of rubble. Year two, you start to see a little bit more of something that resembles a house. You start to see from the exterior, huh, we're winning more games. We look more competitive. We look more disciplined. That three-star that we brought in, starting to make some plays. That guy that it seemed like not everybody else was after and was a late addition on signing day, he's doing some good things for us on the field. Matt Rule, like I said, is a great recruiter. He's an even better developer. So the development piece will start to take a little bit more effect in the second year of his time in Nebraska. When you work out for the first time, first you're just sore. When you, when you understand how to properly get the change that you want to see within your anatomy, at first you're like, golly, I'm not feeling this. But then as you do it more consistently and get a little bit more accomplished in that arena, then you start to see some strength. Then you start to see some, some return on investment for your time. That's what year two is. Now you look at the, the history. Temple in year two under Matt Rule went six and six. Baylor went seven and six. So in year two, for me, I'm saying they're even just a little bit better off than them. I'll say seven or eight wins, I think, is what you should expect in year two under Matt Rule. So again, it's not a total revamp. You're not totally where you want to be just yet in year two, but look at how they do things. Attention to detail. 
It's what Matt Rule is going to bring to Nebraska. It's what we have to use with our eyes when watching Nebraska. So it'll, it'll be subtle, and it'll start to play out a little bit more in year two on the field. Now, year three and four, this is where you have what I call championship attitude. This is where the expectation is, all right, we've built up to this. It's year three, year four, more or less. This is where we go and really do some damage. Because at that point in time, the culture is very firmly in place. It goes from being coach-led to player-led. Culture has infiltrated the locker room. You got leaders that are within that locker room, and they are the ones that are now, in a perfect world, calling the shots. And on a successful team, they're calling the shots, which is what you should be by year three, year four. Those three stars we talked about, the ones that were starting to make plays and a couple of guys were doing good things for you, now they're developed and playing like four stars and potential NFL draft picks. I've said it once. I've said it a lot on this show. Jalen Petrie came to Baylor as a three-star right now, making plays in the league, was a second-round draft pick by the time he left Waco because of how this staff developed him and how they equipped him. Now, Jalen Petrie had a lot under the hood, but it was that staff's responsibility to help pull that out of him. And that's what they did. And they reaped the benefits of it on the field. He was an All-American. Now he's making plays. Those are the kind of players that I think you could see contribute in year three, year four. So development, culture, they meet. The expectation is go play for a conference title. Because in year three at both Baylor and at Temple, remember year one, Temple won two games, Baylor won one game. By year three of the rule regime, both those teams competed for a conference title. It's going to feel bleak at times. It's going to feel like it's not the right way to go. It's going to feel like, what are we doing hiring this guy? We're losing games here. We're losing games there. That shouldn't happen in year one, maybe year two. Just let it happen. It is a process. Matt Rule is brought to rebuild. He's not there to fine tune. In order to rebuild, you got to knock it all down. But... By the end of this thing, I fully expect Nebraska to have the identity of showing up and believing they are the toughest, hardest working, most competitive team in the country. The process is proven. It is tried. It has worked many places. And I believe Lincoln, Nebraska is the next place to do it. So to answer your question, I think three to four years is when you can expect Matt Rule to have ultimately flipped Nebraska to competing for Big Ten titles. So trust the process. Again, we appreciate y'all rocking with us. This has been the hard count. Nick, break, lifting heavy. This is your show. Cannot stress this enough. We're live, 1 Central, 2 Eastern, on this very show on Tuesdays and on Thursdays. It's a longer hangout, right around an hour. Come kick it with us. We want to do more of what you want to see. That live show is so fun. We get to, we get to have a little more interaction. Get to have the regulars in the live chat. Get to see who's tuned in. So Come rock with us. Like again, Tuesday, Thursday, 1 Central, 2 Eastern. We'll have a good time. So we appreciate y'all in advance. We love y'all. We're grateful for y'all. We're going to keep the party rolling, and we will see y'all next time. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.